Hello everyone, this is George just making a quick update and uh, I just wanted to point out that today it is March 20th and it is officially the first day of spring. Uh, according to Wikipedia, uh, spring starts somewhere between 19 and the 21st of March. Now I officially learned that spring starts on the 21st but apparently it varies and uh, then summer it's more precise like June 21st and then I believe fall and um, what is the other thing? Wait, I did summer, spring, winter. Did I do winter? No, I didn't have winter. Yeah, whatever. But fall is like September 23rd or something like that. But anyway, and uh, I just wanted to point out that it's spring but um, it's still kind of chilly out. It's not as... It is actually colder than the previous weeks, which is kind of ironic, but mm. anyway, and then apparently there's like a snowstorm system forming in, in the Midwest, and as like, what is going on with weather? <laughs> However, according to the Weather Channel, let me show you something quickly. Uh, it is supposed to be warming up eventually, so Today, today, here's March 20th at 47 degrees and then as next week progresses it should be much warmer. So I am definitely looking forward to that because I am so done with this freaking cold. Uh, I don't like waking up on a, a 30 degree day and uh, <laughs> wear all these freaking layers. So yeah. Anyway, I can't wait for summer, to be honest. I don't really like spring, so. All the pollen and the rain. And apparently, I just read an article on Google Plus that uh, this season for spring is going to be like the highest in pollen ever, for some reason. I don't know. So, I'll put the article somewhere in the uh, description below, perhaps. But, uh, uh I just, yeah. I, I spring is like a transition uh you know season between cold and hot and i just not having it but anyway that's just my little rant about spring yeah the flowers do come out it's nice and everything but the pollen and the rain and all that crap is like ugh, overrated but anyway um and i just keep talking to my friends and I, this just keeps reiterating in my head that, um, and this is true, this is extremely true and this is something that I experienced firsthand and anyone else that is uh, getting towards my age <laughs> can definitely tell you that uh, as you grow older, time just uh, flows faster. So, um, like, you you know, when you were a child, like, you would play all day, or you would go to school, and you would, you would like, think, uh, oh my god, the day is going so slow, when is the thing going to end? But now, it's just reverse, when um, you're in the middle of work, and suddenly, it's like 6 o'clock, it's like, holy crap, I have to go to, work, I have to, go to home now. And uh, it just goes so fast, it's, it's somewhat a little scary, something, like, I just cannot believe that a couple of months ago it was New Year's Eve. It just, it literally seems like it was probably maybe like a month ago, even though it, w it already was like three months ago. And uh, it sh it's kind of fascinating and it's scary at the same time. But uh, yeah, everyone tells you that as you grow older, time just goes faster and uh, I guess just because you're so busy like doing work and you know doing your daily routines I guess that I just don't notice the time and uh, not even like um, like daily like you know you notice that pretty quickly but um, like seasonal too like I was saying um, we were in winter like a couple of weeks ago and now it's spring and I feel like you just came out of nowhere you know but maybe that has to do more of the weather but yeah so 
I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> my friends will definitely agree with that. I mean, at least my older friends, <laughs> which are my age and above. So, yes. But, um, yeah, I just found that interesting and uh, fascinating. So, let me know what you think again. Uh, it is currently 9.24 and it's 8 Thursday. Um, can't wait for the weekend actually because this weekend I'm gonna go with my friends <sighs> to the Black Party Expo which should be pretty interesting. Uh, we we're planning on going to the actual Black Party but uh, we found out that it was way too expensive. I think the tickets are $140. And not for nothing, but I know that it's like one of once in a lifetime kind of experience, but I'm not paying hundred forty dollars to see something that I could just watch on my computer for free, basically. But uh, we'll go to the expo. Um, that's uh, happening on Saturday from noon to seven at the Roseland Ball. Hall, I believe. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But uh, yeah, this, this is my first sign, so uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, actually. Uh, it'll be something different, so yeah, have a little fun. And I'll just make a day out of it with my friends, like probably have like brunch or get drinks a little later, so it'll, it'll be fun. And then uh, that's pretty much for it. Um, I don't know when Johanna's is leaving. I had a I have a feeling that it's this week, Ken. So I'll have to ask Nandi, I guess. Yeah. But um, things are going well at work. Um, everything's getting uh, straightened out without reporting, so that's good news. And yeah, I mean, so far. Uh, Everything's going the way that it, sh that it should be, so it'll be fun. And then, before we know it, it's going to be April, which is going to be another busy month. So it'll be uh, a little hectic, but I think we can handle it. And lastly, uh, I might have mentioned before, probably in another video, a couple of weeks ago, but... Um, I'm starting to recruit for my uh, eight walk New York uh, walk, and uh, I'm putting the team together again this year. And uh, yeah, I'll, it'll be a lot of fun. I'm definitely looking forward to that. And um, I just read another article. Uh, I must. I don't know when. It must have been probably yesterday. That uh, if I'm not mistaken, there were another 10 cases in which the viral loads were also undetectable to nearly cure I need to read that I want that one actually again but uh, yeah and uh, we are definitely in great times right now um, I think that all the research and development that has come through the last couple of years has advanced so much that we're like very, very near to finding an actual cure. And also like like I posted in a couple of weeks ago, there is a studied case in which this little girl, well this little baby actually, was actually cured and uh, you know that was an infantile case and they hope to study it more so they can reproduce similar therapies or even a cure for adults as well so I mean we are definitely very very close to just being in a world without HIV and AIDS and I think it's it's gonna be a great great uh, period 
the one that we're on. And, uh, you know, that's why I keep doing what I do with the team. Uh, you know, I, I raise the money, I spread the awareness, and uh, I let, um, you know, the scientists do their work, basically. And, uh, yeah, I think that... Uh, I, I don't know who I was having a conversation with. Probably... It must have been... One of my older friends, I think. Might have been FD. But we're having a conversation, and uh, yeah, we sort of discussed that in the next five to ten years, we'll have a cure for HIV and AIDS. And at the time, I, I had a little difficulty kind of seeing what, well, listening to what he was saying and understanding. But uh, after all the news that's that's been going out lately, I was like, wow, that actually makes sense. We're like really, really close. And uh, yeah, if this is my way of supporting the cause and doing what I can, then, you know, I'm going to do it. And uh, I'm going to raise as much funds as I can again. And yeah, and if you like to do your part, um, you know, there's definitely walks all over the country. Uh, I'm gonna mine. Mine's gonna be taking place on May 19 in uh, Central Park. So I'll be looking forward to that again. And uh, yeah, if you like to, um, what we call it, be active or spreading the word, uh, join one of your local walks or be an advocate for HIV and AIDS rights or you know volunteer do whatever you can and uh, you know we'll all do our parts to uh, definitely work towards that day when uh, you know we'll find a cure and be free of all this uh, you know diseases so yeah and uh, I'll be looking forward to that too <laughs> In general, because uh, I never experience uh, personally what it's like to have a friend that's gone through that. Um, like I hear stories and I see the videos and I see the documentaries. I never myself experienced it, but I can only imagine that it must be a terrible and hard thing to experience even as a friend so you know my motivation is just to uh, do what I can do to um, make somebody else not go through this I guess so yeah but uh, yeah get active get involved and do whatever you can to uh, do your part and yeah that's all I can say so I'll leave um, the walk days for the AIDS walk at the different places. I know there's one on the East Coast, San Francisco, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. And I think there's one in Michigan or something. I don't know, and I need to look at it. But uh, I'll put some information below, and uh, if you would like to support me as well, <laughs> uh, feel free to support my um, personal fundraising or my team's fundraising and uh, I'll, link, I'll put those links below as well and if you like to join or uh, be an honorary member or virtually uh, join our team I'll be more than happy and welcome to help you go through that too and uh, yeah again we'll just do whatever we can to do our part and uh, make the world a better place so enough corny for today <laughs> so anyways this is me signing out i'm probably gonna head some dinner it's kind of early but uh, yeah entertain myself on youtube and uh start recruiting some people for my team so yes until next time leaders this thing will turn off